everybody, it's Blake with Channel Android and right now I am going to install this leaked honeycomb build for the Logitech review that the good folks at GTV Hacker have gotten out here to us. First I'm going to get down here in the floor. I'm going to put this USB stick in. Unplug the device, and then I'm going to plug it in. And when I plug it in, I'm going to give it a long one count, and I'm going to hold down the connect button. I'm going to hold it down for a moment, wait for it to come back on, then turn back off, and then when it comes back on, I'll let go of that button. All right. Now I'm going to go over to the keyboard. We want to get into recovery. So when you get to this screen, you want to hold the uh, FN function button and the left arrow button to get into recovery. And this may take a moment. Just a note, this is a beta, it is leaked, it could do unfortunate things to your review. If you choose to do this, it's on you, not me or anyone at gtvhacker.com. And it's possible that not only could this be buggy and damage your system, it could be that you get on it and have no way to get back onto an official build once the uh, once that's released so here we are we're in recovery we're going to want to go to the apply SD card update.zip hit the enter button and wait for it to do its thing I've already had this fail one time, so I went back and reformatted my USB stick. may not be necessary for you, but I did that and then put the zip on there. It was the only thing on there, and it appears to be working this time, whereas last time it gave me an error. So I may cut this off here in a second, do some editing. This is going to be a little boring to watch. Tell you what, I'll just let it run. If this will fit on YouTube, I won't edit it down. You can skip ahead if you don't want to sit through this screen. And I may say some random things here and there. Right now, it has moved on and it's installing an updated bootloader and a recovery image.
Okay. So actually, right now it's in starting. It's installing the uh, kernel and system files. I spoke earlier. Okay. Now I'm reading that this boot up may be a while. And hopefully here soon, it'll pop up and it'll be ready for me to set the device up again. And uh, once that's done, hopefully I'll have a chance to go through the software, maybe do a video overview of what's different in the new Honeycomb build. All right, so there you have it. This should be updated. I'm not going to put you through the update process or the uh, setup process. I'll do that, and uh, hopefully I'll be getting with you soon with some video of what the new software looks like.